Now, they've been around since 1893 and are best known for their distinctive pink and blue shirts. But the future of non-league Dulwich Hamlet Football Club appears uncertain. Fans are being asked to raise money to help the team following a dispute between the council and the property developers who own their stadium. Chris Legg reports. Last night, fans of Dulwich Hamlet came to give their support and anything they could afford. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. To help a club caught in a standoff between Southwark Council and property developers Meadow Residential. It's a disgrace. I think that this is a community club um, that's very well supported and it shouldn't have got this far. I fear for the worst that there's property developers involved and basically this bit of land around here is worth a lot of money in London. This stadium is owned by Meadow Residential. Many fans initially backed their vision of turning the stadium into flats because they also had a vision for the football club. The 1,500 fans who regularly come to games here at Champion Hill felt the future was bright when Meadow Residential announced plans to build a brand new stadium next door. But with the property developers now unwilling or unable to continue to fund the football team, they fear they may soon no longer have a club to support at all. Meadow Residential have stopped funding the club after Southwark Council went to court to block their development plans because of a lack of affordable housing. Manager Gavin Rose says he may soon not have enough money to pay his semi-professional players. We've been told that uh, the, the club now will be responsible for finding the wages etc. We're working with uh, an organisation who are basically telling us uh, how much we're, we're able to take, how much is actually coming through the door without us really knowing. Meadow Residential insists they're not to blame for any financial problems, adding We do not own DHFC and our interest has been focused on the planning opportunity rather than tackling the many operational issues that give rise to DHFC's unstable finances. We are now actively seeking to work with DHFC and to talk to Southwark Council to see if a way forward can be found. Mayor of London Sadiq Khan has said he is deeply concerned by the club's predicament. The fans are remaining resolute. Hopefully is a short-term solution and this sort of thing can only be a short-term solution but hopefully it will keep the club going long enough to find the actual kind of long-term answer to our problems. The hope now is that somehow a deal can be struck. Chris Legg, BBC London News.